we're recording. Yeah, we're recording. Hello, welcome back to Off the Rails OTR. I'm rubbing my eye. I got an eyegasm. Oh, yeah, big fella. God, You're a squirter, are you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just allergies. Hell, everybody's a squirter. <laughs> Everybody's a squirter if you fucking hit the right artery. I mean, you know. <laughs> no, it's just allergies. <laughs> yeah. I'm Holl- not good. I almost said Holland. Holland's been really high this week. Yeah. It has. Yep. But he's, oh, he's the new driver. He's a, he's a pretty cool dude. That's uh, the rumor in the, the office going around that I found out that... Uh, <laughs> Excuse me. There is more than just one or two drivers that will only call if I'm if they know that I'm the one that's working. <laughs> really? Oh, you know, there's several of them that will not wow. talk to the other guy if their life depends on it. <laughs> that's fucking funny. How much you want to bet within the next two years, Dave's going to try to move you to Coopersville so you can work in the office every day. <laughs> That's already been a thought. And be like, and and Ben, or and be fucking higher up in in office in the yep. safety department. I'm or wondering the about dispatch. that. I'm actually wondering about yeah, that. Yeah, it's coming. It's a coming. You'll be you'll be John's replacement when John retires. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 Why not? You don't want to be the head of safety. No. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. No, I, I, I did get a new computer though. It was free. Sweet. The, Sweet. My office computer. The IT guy says the hard drive took a shit on it, and he you know brought me a new oh, computer. Wow. And he, he I was like, so what are you gonna do with that old one? It's like we. Take it back, recycle it, get what kind of parts we can out of it. I'm like, uh, I'll take it if you don't want it. If you don't want to have to carry it back out to the car, I'll take it. He's like, well, let me talk to Dave. If he says it's okay, you can have it. Dave says, sure, let me let him have it. So uh, I got it. Sweet. Well, hi, Eileen. Ooh, Eileen. Hey, baby, what color are your panties? <laughs> <laughs> I have was, to. I have to. That's my shtick now. Yeah, I've noticed this. I think everybody else has to. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. But Dave's like, you know, the, the, well, Jesse, the IT guy, he, he says, says uh, you should ask Dave about the computer room, too, if you're into recycling computers. I was like, really? We got a computer room? He's like, oh, yeah, there's room up, you know, down the hall. It's got like 10, 15 computers in it. That, you know, he Holy said there's, shit. he's like, there's a, you know, they're only a couple of years old, but, you know, there's something wrong with each of, each one of them. It's like, if you could, if he says you can have them, you can have them. I'm like, really? I <laughs> asked Dave, was, he's like, yeah, next time you're in, I'll give you the key to the, give you the key to the computer room. You can go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> shit, yeah. I'm like, Damn. <laughs> I might be having a having a whole you hit server room here soon. <laughs> Hopefully, they got some monitors in there too, some flat screens at work. Yeah, but this one that I brought home, I'm I'm like, I I took the hard drive out last night. And I'm looking at it. And I'm like, you know, this thing's actually pretty good, pretty good, you know, shape. You know, it's just weird that it's you know it's just an old spinner. It's an old two terabyte. So I got this external hard drive enclosure, and I slapped it in there, and it started spinning. And it loaded up in my file manager, and I'm sitting there looking through all the files, and I'm like, this thing is running. There's the hard drive. There's nothing wrong. What I'm thinking it is, what happened, was that the... the cable. No, or, the IT... The socket. The IT company tried to force it to upgrade to windows 11 and this this old the old tower just doesn't have the processor to do it 
in Windows is 11 is real specific on the processors that it that it will work on, and it just froze up. Yeah. And so they just assumed that it was because mm-hmm. they're trying to get everybody get all the computers onto Windows 11, and it, this yeah. one was on the chopping block to be replaced anyways. So I I wiped the hard drive and installed Linux Mint on it this morning, and dude. Caitlin's in there just to go to town on it. She's having all kinds of fun with it. <laughs> Sweet. Hell yeah. It's just, she's having all, if it works, it works, dude. Right. Hell yeah. I wouldn't tell, I wouldn't tell the IT people about that though. Oh, new, no, new. No. He was laughing uh, at me. Because they're going to be like, oh, it works, give it back. He, he come carrying that box in, and he sets it down on the desk. I was like, oh, look, it's my new Ubuntu machine. And he started laughing. He goes, no, it's not getting Linux on it. <laughs> I, said, I said, oh, come on. Oh, by the way, Arch, you know, Arch will fly on this. <laughs> he's, he's like, he's like, you sure you don't want another job? <laughs> I'm like, nope, you guys couldn't afford me. <laughs> He's like he said it was kind of it's kind of cool to even talk geek with with somebody in the office there for once. <laughs> Besides just the rest oh, yeah. of their IT department. <laughs> Hell yeah! I threatened to waterboard him if he didn't give me the master password for the BIOS, so I could install Linux on all the machines yeah. in, the, in the in the building. <laughs> Like, no, don't. You'll kick me out of a job. Hell <laughs> yeah. Okay, here you go. Here you go. Let's try anal. Fuck that shit. That's the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. You all right? <laughs> Make me swallow wrong. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. That's what she said. <laughs> Damn. Where'd my phone go? Yeah, I did that earlier. I was in the middle of telling my dad a story. <laughs> Just a breathed in a little story? bit and that shit went down the wrong pipe. <laughs> was, it a, was it a bedtime story? No, no. I was uh. talking about drag racing. Uh-huh. <laughs> too soon. Yep. <laughs> I just saw what you wrote underneath the Have you- the, the uh, Alec Baldwin <laughs> meme. <laughs> Asking for a friend. <laughs> Actually, no, it's not too soon because I want to know why he didn't get thrown in prison. Because of it, because his know, name is Alec Baldwin and he's worth yeah. millions. But he's supposed to be a professional. If it was you or me, actor. we'd be locked the fuck up. Damn, Eileen. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Yummy bread. <laughs> Peter Loaf. <laughs> That's right. Peter Loaf. That's meant for Fermunda cheese to be spread on. <laughs> or some penis butter. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, penile butter. That's that's what you're supposed to dip in your bowl of uh, baby gravy. <laughs> baby gravy. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Whisk bus- biscuits and baby gravy. <laughs> Whisker biscuit with a side order of thighs. <laughs> thighs. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Two medium thighs, please. <laughs> I did that before. Of course, it was a girl I knew, but it was when I worked at McDonald's here in town. No, I didn't work there anymore, but I was still going there a lot. <clears throat> and I knew this chick that worked there, and I always fucked with her because I used to work with her and was good friends with her. And I come up through the drive through I heard her voice. I was like, yeah, can I get a whisker biscuit with a side order of thighs? She's like, get the fuck up here. <laughs> so I'd pull up and, you know, pay for my hamburger. They would never give me that whisker biscuit. I was mad. Or the side order of thighs. 
I'm trying to text here. Oh, yeah, is that why my phone lit up a second ago? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I have to think of how I, how I word things. Uh, <laughs> are you coming on, Keith? On the air? God damn it. <laughs> on the show? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, shit. I, I don't like... expect Andy to be here because we had her last weekend. Yeah. We got Eileen. Eileen can fill in. Yeah. Anytime you want to come on the air with us, Eileen, you're more than welcome to turn your mic on and jump in. I don't know why. She's got a good mic. So. I've watched her watched her streams before. They're pretty good. Yeah. Hell yeah. She streams on, on Twitch. Why is uh in them? Where where's Krim been lately? She's been out gallivanting around the planet. She's okay. Going I haven't out. seen any of her shows, so I was like, did she jump ship? <laughs> no. No, she's but. she's been doing like conventions and talks traveling and, and you know all kinds of fun shit. Being a good Hell good yeah. uh not the word what's the word? I'm not saying a some Samaritan. What's the other word where you go out and you evangelize about hive and stuff? Evangelize, that's the word I'm looking for. So she's preaching? Yeah, about hive. <laughs> uh. Spreading the word. You can now send voice that's notes it. here on Discord. Really? I didn't know that. Is that something that you got to have nitro for? But it's... Because I don't do nitro. Yeah, I don't either. Sweet. Well, I've got yeah, a heart I'm not condition. I'm my fucking credit card number in for nothing. Yeah, I got a heart condition, so nitro is probably not a good thing for me. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, nitro is a real good thing for you to have on your pocket. Just in case you have a heart attack, you can, uh, you know. Put one under your tongue. We, Michelle's got a one of her coworkers has got a heart condition, but they haven't said anything what kind of heart condition it is. She was talking about today. He went out and did a pick walk, one pick walk, and came back and he's sitting in the back rack room, you know, taking a break after one pick walk. And he, this dude's like in the in his twenties, and she said he's sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> You know, barely breathing, you know, breathing real heavy and coughing and hacking. And it's like, damn, he's 20 some years old. Got, it sounds like he's got a heart failure to me. If he's breathing that hard after, you know, yeah. doing a quick walk. And, and, and I'm still surprised Zach was able to play drums with his heart condition. Yeah. It hit him as he hard as he Barely fucking. <laughs> Yeah, he, he could barely walk 20 feet without huffing and puffing and sitting up there on the double bass kit like he's fucking animal. It's like, Jesus Christ, motherfucker's <laughs> heart's going to explode. <laughs> how's he, how's he doing? Zachariah Blumkin the fourth. Is he still, he's still around? Good. Cool. Oh, yeah. He's in Potterville. He bought his dad's house, and his dad moved somewhere down south. Come to Burry, so yeah. he's living in Potter, <laughs> Tucky, and last I knew, he's still welding. Wow. Come to Birmingham. Enjoy the views. <laughs> Hell yeah. Watch traffic go by. Fuck, I'd do that. There used to be a newspaper article with the Lansing State Journal of Polly. Uh, this was shortly after high school. Uh, Polly sitting up on the overpass facing west, shirtless, in his blue jeans. He had long hair at the time, and he was playing his acoustic guitar, and somebody saw that with the news and interviewed him. And uh, or with the paper, I'm sorry, not the news, and interviewed him and started, you know, asking him questions. And the reason he sat there was because one day he wanted to go out west and pursue his dream of being a singer. Cool. 
which obviously that never happened. I mean, yeah, the furthest he went was Florida, and that was to do drugs. I mean, that, um, that's not even south- west. That's like south. Yes, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I was saying he never did do that because he got too busy being a junkie. He just went the wrong direction. Yep. I mean, he had, you know, sober life for a while when he was down there. But then he got hooked up in some fucking meth and shit. That'll happen. Yep. Start hanging out with the wrong people, and that's Polly. Polly attracts the wrong people. Love the dude to death, but I, I try not to associate with him anymore because whether he's, you know, clean or not, no one knows. So I just, I don't have any room in my life for that. I got too much to lose. Same thing with Brian. Yeah. I'm friends with Brian again. I've only talked to him a couple times through Messenger. Other than that, I don't want nothing to do with him. Because, you know, within the next couple of years, he'll be locked up at least once or twice again. Mm-hmm. And I'm sorry. You know, he but gets this, him, gets himself clean while he's in there. That meme just does not get old. I know. That's great. <laughs> hey, there's Ooh, Keith. Keith's here. What's happening, hey, Keith? Keith. What color are your panties, big fella? <laughs> uh, you know, can you hear me? Can you hear me? It's so it, funny. I was yeah. going to be on the show just in time, but I thought, I'll have me a Bud Light. And now look what happened. My <laughs> pants don't go with my shoes. This butt plug just won't come out. Oh, there it is. Oh, I'm so sorry, but I'm fashionably late like a good woman. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? Oh, is that a cock? Or are you just happy to see me? Oh, where's Ron at when I need him? <laughs> oh, Ronnie. I'll be your little sheep on the edge of a cliff. <laughs> How's it going, boys? <laughs> Damn it. Oh, fucking A, man. He always knows, the, oh, knows how to make an entrance. Oh, yep. man, that was good. I need to roll me a fat one here. I just, you know. Uh, so what's new? Chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> they won't <motion>. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what is this? The Dutch yep. and the Germans have that configuration because they like to pick through the poop with their fingers and eat the remains. <laughs> what? <laughs> that ain't real. <laughs> there ain't no fucking way. That's No, it's not. Eileen, where do you find this shit? Literally, That's where do you great. find this shit? <laughs> or she highway. <laughs> Chihuahua. You could even pay a fine if you don't pick That's your poops clean. Oh, man. <laughs> Facebook. Hell yeah. <laughs> Facebook. I get a lot of good shit from Facebook. That's where I get all my memes from. Mm-hmm. Like this one. This one I got from Gary, but it came from Facebook. (laughs) (laughs) I know it gets a lot of shit, but that was a good episode. All three of the original, or not the original, the the newer ones were good. (laughs) One, two, and three, Phantom Menace and Clone Wars and whatever, or Attack of the Clones. I was the, the first, <coughs> the very first one I wasn't too excited about. Once they got rid of it Jar Jar slow Banks, in the beginning. it was a lot better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those characters. I mean, I got a, I got a small or small, a soft heart for him, simply because one, Bubba loved him, and two, Bubba named Binks after Binks. Yeah. So. Yeah, but the character himself itself was stupid. So how was your uh, uh, week away? Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> no, go 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 ahead. 
<laughs> it's okay. Goat head? Goat head. <laughs> Daddy. Daddy. <laughs> I was just going to say something uh, about the underwater people that Jar Jar Binks was with. Oh. Uh, that whole sequence of the first movie was kind of stupid. But yeah. Overall, the movies were good. If that's your story. I'm sticking to it. I was entertained. <laughs> that's right. I got some you can stick to, big fella. <laughs> you teeth. Oh, is it hot in here? That's you right. Making promises you can't keep again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I know, I know where Kit Carson is. <laughs> There's only 101 of us here. You'll find me. <laughs> That's right. Kick the last me. census said uh, it was over 200, I believe, was the last census. Mm-hmm. We've had like six I, families I move out the last three months. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah I, I Googled it after. Well, you posted something about. Kit Carson and I was like, "Where the fuck is that?" Out in the middle what? of nowhere. What is this thing yep. that Eileen posts? Of favorite slang terms for the penis? A kicky wicky, long plum. Never heard that before. Bald pate fryer. Silent Bald paint. Just paint. <laughs> Gay gang instrument, instrument. <laughs> fucking ass. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Liver disturber. disturber. <laughs> <laughs> Father confessor. Ooh, I like that one. Quimstick patootie. Really? Patootie Cutie was Buster. supposed to be a penis? <laughs> Cutie patootie? Yeah. That song was about a penis? Did not know that. Ambassador? Dingle Doodle. Ding Wallace. <laughs> <laughs> the corned beef tor or torpedo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Hey. <laughs> oh, goddamn. That's great. Corned beef torpedo. <laughs> I gotta remember that. Wow. Oh, fuck. I ain't, I'm sitting here <laughs> looking at like no memes that I got this week. Because. <laughs> just because. I was busy. You got no. Yeah. I was life on the other side of the state there, Bonehead. It was all right. Yeah. Found out a few things. That there's well, more yeah, than just a chair. Yeah, there's a couple more than a couple drivers that will only call me <laughs> when they have a problem. You have a special you do connection. Them sexual favors. <laughs> yeah, he does sexual favors for them. Apparently, that I didn't know about. And they don't. They don't call him Uncle Giggle Guts. For <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Giggle Guts. They like his corned beef tornado. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that when I'm trying to take a drink. <laughs> that oh, almost came shit. out my nose. That's like, not the only thing. Wow. He must be. He's full. <laughs> yes, sir. <clears throat> no, it's just allergies. <laughs> That's what they all say. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> oh, uh, shit. I ain't never. You fucking liar. I got video proof. No. Nah. And if I don't have video proof, I got audio proof because we made a recording. Yes, that's true. Lots of them. <laughs> Damn. <clears throat> I can't quite do the chipmunk voice, so I uh, 
I thought about getting out my digital mixer this week and hooking it up and setting it all up again, and I didn't, of course, but because then I could have did the. Uh, <laughs> 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 I love the I'm laughing repeat. about. Yeah, that's what I'm laughing about. The phone is funny too, but yeah, the gender reveal is best. <laughs> <laughs> the black guy, like, oh fuck! <laughs> I just saw it. <laughs> He's like, motherfucker! I gotta get the hell out of here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what the fuck's in that cup? <laughs> <laughs> God damn, I was here for the chicken and I got me a dick. <laughs> <coughs> Fucking honky bitch. Balls. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, shit. That's classic. Okay. I got some more. Let's see. <laughs> Got a picture of Ron in his office. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Okay, I'm, I'm looking for memes right now. Fucking better be. I got one. I'm not going to tell you nothing about it. And th there's a, a slight caption that goes with it, <laughs> I think, if, I, if I've got the right one queued up. But just take a, uh, take a look around and tell me what you see. <laughs> Kaboom! <laughs> it's not a real talk. <laughs> Oh, that reminds me when I was in the Air Force and we lost a box of grenades. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. We did. It was 48 of them. That's a lot wow. of grenades to lose. I think it fell off yeah. the back of the truck, Sarge. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I have a buddy that I used to work with years ago when I did auto parts for the Cadillac plant downtown. He was another truck driver. And he was from South Dakota, and he was an Air Force veteran, and he flew in bombers. He was, I don't remember what position he held in there. Obviously, he wasn't a pilot or nothing, but he was telling me about uh, if ever there was an issue, they were to get across the border, and they had special code words. He would never say what they were, and essentially, that was for them to be recovered outside of the United States. Ah. It's like holy so shit. They yeah, this is back. Like if in they went down, back in. Uh, if they went down, or there was an attack here at home, or. Uh, oh, I got you. Okay. Shit like that. So. Yeah. I was like, "Damn, dude, that's fucking crazy." He goes, "Yeah, yeah." And then he spent years, you know, being a bed bugger, <laughs> which is a household goods mover. Yeah. He used to go to all the bases doing that shit. Yeah, he was a cool I remember, cat. I remember the first time Hector refueled at a, a aircraft midair in the back of a 135. That, that got me into trouble. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to feed you up with some goodies. Pilots loved it. <laughs> Knew me. They're like, who's giving us gas today? Oh, oh I'm going to stick you with my long tube. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry, yeah, get out of there. Let's see. Uh, he says, studied at Chanute Air Force Base, Ill, I'm assuming Illinois, aircraft maintenance B-52H is what his shit says on his Facebook. But that's just maintenance. He's from Ipswich, South Dakota. Up there where the missiles are. Yep. He was associated with all that shit. And he's... I don't remember how old he is. Let's see if his birthday's on here. 
Nope. There's Steve. <laughs> but he's, you know, he's a bit older than me. So. <clears throat> I don't think it was Cold War, but it was the tail end of the Cold War era. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> well, yeah. You never <laughs> stood on somebody's face before, Eileen? What the hell? <laughs> Walk on someone's back? Oh, no. she's This person's a woman stepping on someone's face, laying on the ground there. Oh, yeah, I see. Her it. right foot's on his face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. Especially with, you know, the types of teachers we're seeing nowadays. The ones who are indoctrinating our children. Coming out to them in class and instead mm -hmm. of, you know, teaching the curriculum, they're fucking teaching them all the gay stuff. It's like, um, no, no, no. And a lot of them, the, the militant ones anyways, believe that the parents have no rights at school. It's like, um, bitch, don't you realize the public pays your fucking salary? You work for the public <laughs> in a right. public school. We don't have any say. Uh, eh, wrong answer, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Stupid bullshit. I don't think any of that stuff's going around out here. I hope not, anyway. Not out here, that's for sure. Here's what I say. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm pro-choice myself. And I do support the government. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, you do. You pay taxes, don't you? Unfortunately, yeah, to, to stay, I, I don't pay taxes. I pay the extortion fees. What do I? That's what I call you, it, too. You pay taxes at the pump. Yeah, at the register. Yes. I'm not talking about income. Yeah, I'm talking about all to buy. To all buy taxation groceries. is theft. It's forced theft. Oh, wow. But, Look out, driver, there's what a gator. I'm saying is, hey. <laughs> yeah, them wild lizards are getting fucking, they're getting worse, man. I haven't seen them that bad in a long time. <laughs> it's um, getting rough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking wild lizards. Uh. Yeah, I forgot where I was going with that anyway. The only way I can do it oh, is yeah. with taxation is theft. <laughs> uh, taxation being theft, yes, yes, it is. But I, we have no choice but to pay it. So Yeah, that's why I said it's, it's theft. It's legal theft. Yep. <laughs> There's another good meme too. Yeah. The IRS needs to be abolished. Let's go with a flat tax and call it good. Nah, make the politicians pay all the taxes and let the normal people fucking have our money. Yeah. There's <laughs> a good here's one to go go with the, the taxation discussion here. <laughs> it actually took me a second to get that one. 
<laughs> Gay alien. <laughs> 51% of Americans pay no federal income taxes. Whoa! We're Whoa. halfway there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, living on a prayer. Just, whoa, yeah. we're halfway there, and then whoa, oh, living on a prayer. Oh my God, seriously, you're gonna pick about that? <laughs> yes, I am. Yep. Preparing for the world. He swathed my ass and it came back positive. I've got climate change. <laughs> yep. I got the sexually transmitted climate change. <laughs> what would that be? STCC? STCC? I used to, you know, do some shit with uh, socks, my cat, that I used to have when I was with Karen. Um, I'm glad you added the cat because that my... started to sound kind of kinky. I used to do things with socks. <laughs> I, I, would, <laughs> I would sit her on my chest and, and hold her there, you know, not obviously not forcefully, but just hold her and pet her and talk to her. And I always talked to her with a certain voice. <laughs> and... Uh, I'm like, oh, I, 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 I got the sexually transmitted demons. And uh, <laughs> she knew when I started doing that, she's like, oh, fuck. So the ears would go back. She started like, oh, Jesus. And after I'd sit there and please save my soul, little baby Jesus, I sure do love you. <laughs> and she'd just fucking reach up and smack me on the forehead. Wow. So, yeah, you know, she was saving my soul from eternal Dalmatian. I sure do love my little baby Jesus, mm, or Jeebus. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, I did all the fucking check-ins from the uh, yeah. Church of Jeebus Christ and the Saturday Taints. Yep. I sure do love my little baby Jeebus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I miss that fucking cat bad. And Rudy, little Rudy Big Aloysius Gear Jammer. <laughs> and Socks Louise, aka Monkey Lulu. You remember Monkey Lulu? I I'm I'm a little perplexed by this meme. That what the fuck is that? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm kind of confused too. I uh, yeah, me too. I, one looks a little funky. The other side looks a little. Yeah. I mean, just exactly what is that? Oh, it's a dude's arms. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I get it now. They're doing the fucking, okay. you know, the over-the-top wrestling move, or arm wrestling move. Well, at first glance, the, the bicep sticking out from underneath it's the shirt sleeve looks like penis head. <laughs> it looks like a head of a dick. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> okay, what the fuck the are you doing down. here, Eileen? <laughs> <laughs> I knew what that was and what the picture was. I'm just I don't see a spider and an octopus there. But I knew the picture. <laughs> the fuck is that? <laughs> um, Hell yeah. <laughs> This is a little uh, <clears throat> PSA for everyone. A little PSA? Yep. Masturbation is self-rape. <laughs> oh, gosh. I guess I'm a rapist. I'm a self-rapist. Yep, I'm a rapist. <laughs> no, no, you're supposed to say self-rapist, not a rapist. <laughs> oh, it's, it's okay, self-rapist. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> what do you call a therapist that's, p that's right. mad all the time? Uh, I don't know. A therapist. Oh, Jesus Christ. Let me 
I'll just do this again for fuck's sake. <laughs> <sighs> Vice I gotta, I gotta vindicate you with, with my fucking. <laughs> I gotta vindicate you with my own fucking <laughs> Mickey <dad> House joke. <laughs> <coughs> M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E. Did you see that? uh, Yep. People on Twitter going nuts because they lost their their blue check marks. (laughs) Yeah, that was fucking great. Fucking Bette Midler Uh, flipping out over an $8 fucking check mark. Yep. Self-entitled it's fun. dickheads. Oh, oh! guess what else I heard today? I read it, actually. It was from a news source. I don't remember which one. But uh, the VP of marketing at Bud Light uh, took a leave of absence. <laughs> Translation, yep. got fired. <laughs> yep. yep. <laughs> About fucking time. Now maybe they can build back their reputation. Yeah, their market cap dropped what nine billion? <laughs> yep. Dumbest move ever. Then, uh, then I like the Budweiser, the most recent Budweiser commercial. Did you guys see that one yet? Yeah, I heard. What's surprise, Dale? Yep. Yeah, I seen it. Budweiser walked right the fuck away from Bud Light. Like we gotta, we gotta man up with Budweiser because that backfired. Yep. And and it, I, I got a little meme for you. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Shh, don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> 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 yep damn it but yeah they've definitely they definitely got some work ahead of themselves that fucking clueless I don't even know what to fucking call her I mean besides clueless but she's 100% Detached from reality. She looks like the donkey from Shrek. Yeah. She, uh, uh, no, I think donkey looks cuter. (laughs) She looks like, she looks like a brainless fucking, I don't even know, an uh, an amoeba of some some sort, I guess. I just don't know. (laughs) She's fucking clueless, and I don't know how the hell she got that job. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, I do. Diversity higher. Yep. Because she's not that old. So it's, it's, I want to think it's almost a stunt. Not necessarily that the corporation pulled, but somebody pulled a stunt and put a sacrificial lamb in there that they knew was going to do something stupid. So I don't know. Bitch is dumb, though, and completely clueless knowing the company she works for and complaining about it being fratty. Got to change their fratty image. Um, bitch, mm. you went to those frat parties, too, you dumbass. <laughs> and, and now you want to change the image by putting a guy who mocks the fucking female uh, gender, like, totally mocks women completely. I mean, that's doesn't take a rocket science just to show you why that's bad. Mm-hmm. That's a bad, bad, bad move. Dylan Mulvaney is just a fucking mockery of being a woman. <laughs> I keep hearing from uh I want to think it was uh of course now I can't remember I got to go look over here <laughs> uh, just got to go got to go shopping 
liberal no liberal hive mind oh yeah. yeah they've they've mentioned several times about how uh she's supposedly going to be getting or he i can't say she because that's not a woman he is going to be getting a show from oprah winfrey yeah I've heard like, that wow. too. Yeah. You know, hey. Yes, yes. Vending machines for guns on every fucking corner. <laughs> <laughs> I I experience experience this one on a daily basis. <laughs> yeah <laughs> I do that I do that too yeah do that I like for Babylon <laughs> B because at least it's entertaining prophecy class it's unforeseen <laughs> I don't think this system works I fucking love it that's oh, awesome oh shit <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's another one I'm fucking vegan now. how do you know they're vegans because they fucking tell you exactly you could be like literally asking a question like hey could you tell me how to get to the speedway in Texas <laughs> I'm just fucking throwing some goofy shit yeah. out. And then, of course, they're going to be, well, you turn right at the vegan restaurant, and then you turn left <laughs> at the vegan store. <laughs> you know, they're going to tell you they're a vegan. Without <laughs> saying, hey, I'm a vegan. It's kind of like, tell me you're vegan without telling me you're vegan. You know? Yeah. You know, yeah. An innocent Speaking animal FBI, had to die. I just fought. An innocent animal had to die because because you because you ate his because because he died for your steak and he died because you ate his food yeah he ate your the fucking grass that you were eating dumbass but yeah i agree with this fbi one and i just watched a show i finished watching it today actually um called the night agent on netflix oh that was good what is it and what's it about it was very good uh, cloak and dagger spy shit what was okay. the name of it though the night agent oh the night agent I keep popping up on my yes. suggested list I should probably watch that I started watching this you should it just recently came out I started watching I think it's called Beef it's got the guy that played Glenn from The Walking oh, Dead yeah. in it it's it's actually fucking hilarious. It's a it all starts with a road rage incident, and then him and this lady's trying to get back at each other, and they're trying to one up each other through the whole thing. And it it makes wow. fun of a lot of social media shit, where where she she tries to she starts a fake account, Instagram account to to get at his brother. And it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> I think Keith, mm -hmm. they should whoever made Man, this <laughs> should get the Babylon B off of there because that is real. Yes. Yeah. I know. No, he's woman of the year. He's he's woman of the year. That's right. I'm sorry. So yeah, that's correct. My bad. I was fucking brain farting for a minute. Yeah, he's woman of the year. Doctor Levine. Pennsylvania must be so yeah. proud with this one and. That other guy, the brain dead one. Buttigieg or Biden? Oh, the. the <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Either the senator one. from. Uh, <laughs> anybody in this. Oh, what's that guy that had a stroke? Oh, Fetterman. Okay. Yeah. Fetterman. Fetterman, yeah. John Fetterman. Just, just the, the, the cheese Fetterman guy. From PA. He, the guy that sounds like yeah. cheese. Yeah, good night, everybody. John Fetterman doesn't. <laughs> Yeah, he's fucking, yeah. Yep. He's the type of, you know, 
person that would think that outlawing all guns across the country would solve the gun problem, <laughs> the gun violence problem. Because, yeah. you know, criminals, you know, he's, he's the type of guy that'd be like, you know, gun-free zones are safe spaces. That's why all the fucking shootings happen in gun-free zones. A lot of people don't remember that schools are gun-free zones, mm-hmm. and criminals take the guns in the gun-free zones. So, you know. Yep. And just outright outlawing guns would work beautifully, just like the war on drugs worked. Yeah, right. The I war was on never property. able to get marijuana. Yeah, I would. I was never able to fucking get cocaine uh, during the war on drugs. Yep. I was never able to get marijuana during the war on drugs. Ah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> little booger sugar, little rooster booster. The white walls are showing. That's right. That one there. Decided to try out a new TV show and that woke part inevitably comes out and turns the whole show into a lecture. I did yep. watch recently a movie that I made it almost like 10 minutes from the end and I realized there was not one woke part in it at all. And that was... uh Something man, something of man, enemy of man, or something like that. It's about a bunch of robot drones that gets dropped into uh, some place down South Mexico, and they they they're going in to be you know like a proving ground situation type thing, but they end up killing a bunch of people. Yeah. It's fucking good. I made it all the way through that damn movie before I realized there was not one woke subject in it at all. It was just damn near pure action. It was like, dude, that's just fucking badass. I'm watching this again. <laughs> I watched a movie the other day that same thing. But what did you guys think of the new uh, Top Gun was, movie? I'm not watching. I it. loved it. I'm too. not watching it. Why? I loved it. Because it's... I it's, hate Tom Cruise and I love it. I hate Tom Cruise too, but it's it, it they only made it because they could make a buck on it. Oh, I see what you're saying. They did a good job though. Yeah, it was not woke as far as I could tell. Oh, really? Well, maybe I will watch yeah, it. Yeah, I couldn't tell either. It's It's good, man. It's got a great story. Yeah. A lot of the movie has to deal with Maverick and Goose's son. Uh-huh. How they how they don't get along, and then the story of they why had a son they don't together? get along. Fucking smart ass. <laughs> well, you said their son. I mean, but there is there's one one oh, show. Goose's son is what I meant to say. There's one show that had a has a woke moment in it and that's uh that do sci-fi show the arc there's like one gay character on her and <coughs> it's it's done to you know tastefully where it the, being gay is not like anything part the full that, of the that's yeah it's not a point of the the storyline and the character's actually a really good character he's Probably one of the best characters on the show, because he's you know, he's quite the badass. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't mind that. It's yeah, just when they make it the whole fucking shows about this subject. Yeah, that's what I hate. Yeah, that's and they didn't do that at all. And I'm like, damn, it was actually pretty good. Sam I, Gecko, I like the first season. Hey, Grandpa Gecko, welcome to the Boomer Show. Gecko. Hey, I'm, I'm going to send you a picture, guys. Yeah. I'm going to show you a tasteful. picture in our chat. Uh-huh. You are. Uh-huh. Make it tasteful. Yep. 
So there's, does it get banned? Oh, it's very tasteful. <laughs> I'm going to do it on our text message through the phone, dumbass. Oh, oh okay. Oh, oh. What do you mean? Click. So it's not going to be. Oh. So it's obviously something that's not going to be fitting for the for the show. It is fitting for the show, but I so don't what? know if I want to share it. Oh, I see. Wait till you see the pictures. There's three of them. And tell me what you think. Oh, they're fitting. There we go. They're fitting. Aww. Yeah. You, you think so? Well, I mean, yeah. I know the subject matter, but just the fact that, you know... Yeah, they're they're All they're, right. they're All family right. friendly. Yeah, they won't get okay. banned. Well, I know they're family friendly. Just Julia won't pop know. out of nowhere and ban you. <laughs> Damn. All right. I'll get it queued up here. Start over. I got too many. That's what she said. (laughs) There you go. Yeah, that's a lot of truth (laughs) in that one. (laughs) I like this headline too. This is awesome. Hell yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Hell yeah. (laughs) Cry like a bitch. That's awesome. Oh. Okay, I'll I'll put you know what I'll leave the one with her out. I'll just put the the other two pictures. There you go. And Gecko's name is what made me think of it. That's my grandson, Rowan. I like the one where the one on the right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the baby Yoda. The <laughs> yeah. Cool outfit. <laughs> yeah, he is a cute little shit, isn't he? Mm-hmm. Huh? You can tell can see him wearing he's your got beard. the Sissler genes. Huh? Yeah, he, he's got the Sissler DNA in him. Yeah, our uh, Sisslers look alike. You can put a picture of my grandpa, my dad, both of my dad's brothers, even my dad's sister, myself, my son, all sitting in a row, and we look like we're related. You can tell 100% that we're related. And now you throw Rowan in the mix? Oh, yeah, yeah. One of our drivers, is, is she's pregnant, and she's, she said the other day that she's going to name the kid <laughs> Keanu. Keanu? Oh, yes. What the fuck for? Because she wants to name him Keanu. Hell yeah. I mean, it's a noble name. It's Keanu's cool. a good man. <coughs> yeah. Who was it that said that? Said what? Somebody at the office? Yeah, it's one of the drivers. They wanted to name their kid Keanu? Yeah. It's one of the, one yeah. of the drivers. She be pregnant. Hell yeah! I didn't even know mine. she was pregnant. I was asking her. I was talking to her on the phone. I'm like, uh, been home all day. I'm like, why? Are, you don't seem like you're running as hard as you used to. Are you <laughs> getting tired of it or something? She's like, no, I'm pregnant. I'm like, well, that would explain it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's a stressful job, man. Yes, it is. A stress, stressful, unhealthy lifestyle. Yep. My neighbor's back in the hospital since last night. He's been uh, having uh, bloody diarrhea for a few days. Wow. Yeah, so he didn't think nothing of it at first, but then yesterday his wife texted me. She's like, hey, Tim's back in the hospital. This was like 4 o'clock yesterday afternoon. They were going to run some tests today and figure out what's going on. So, I never heard anything since. My 
cousin Tim. He's like not blood cousin. He was married to, or his mom was married to one of my uncles, great uncles. Yeah. Or no, maybe it was his dad was married to one of my great aunts. Oh, anyway, that's how he was related. Or how he's related. So. But he's still my cousin. Of course, you know, lived by him for years before we figured it out. It's like, well, duh, the last name says it all. His last name is Tweety. It's like, well, my dad's like, well, I remember Don Tweety. I was like, oh, yeah, that's Tim's dad. It is? I was like, yep. <laughs> Rack a deck, 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 deck. Yeah. <laughs> I, I totally agree. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <coughs> Look. <You're> evil. <laughs> Here's one for this was so John. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Did you guys see the one I posted just above the bonehead there? <laughs> Tailgate. Yeah, we I saw snuck you in that there. last one last week. Did I, I can't remember plastic. if I did, so Yep. Tailgate okay, Mendial. <laughs> little c4 to start your day that's right put that in your fucking coffee <laughs> dr evil mini me's man yes i am <laughs> old aliens I believe in them believe they're out too. there I believe there's uh, a lot of things that we I can't just got explain. some I got some really disturbing news I need to pass along oh yeah uh oh uh, Tess come back Ron got Ron got picked up today oh yeah ooh <laughs> I forgot about that. Whoa! <laughs> Neuralink claw. Yep. Yep. They picked up Ron today. I mean, just look at who they work for. I mean, fuck, he's yep. good as dead, man. I think they shot his neighbor's dog, too. What? <laughs> the ATF is known for shooting dogs. I said, uh, oh, I think they okay. shot his neighbor's dog, too. Okay. Yeah. This is going to be me. <laughs> yeah. St. Peter Jackson. St. <laughs> Peter Jackson. On, set of, <laughs> on the set of... <laughs> The best movie in the world. The best movie series in the world. <laughs> yeah. With Sir Ian McKellen. St. Peter. <laughs> I love it. Ouch. Yeah. I cried at the end of Return of the King. Do you? 
simply because, you know, three years, that's what I looked forward to. And after that, I was like, what do I get next December? I was fucking heartbroken. And as soon as my son, you know, was old enough to comprehend watching TV and could tell that what was real and what wasn't real, we watched fucking Lord of the Rings together. Three years old, he was watching Lord of the Rings and loving every minute of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wow, they shouldn't have been arrested. This is shooting at each other. Ain't shooting at nobody else. That's right. Let them have their fun. <laughs> That's fucking truth, too. Yep. That is 100% legit. I do love the fucking face he's making, though, on the bottom. Somebody did a real good job of that. <laughs> oh, I like this. That's what she said. <laughs> Hell yeah. I got to put a different one on it. Eugenics. <laughs> the Ministry of Truth. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I love that. I've been thinking about that one a couple of days now. <clears throat> it's like, man, I want to do that around Halloween. That would be, <laughs> that'd be great. <laughs> I'll just see if I can't uh, do that to my neighbor across the street, my buddy Kyle. <laughs> he comes home from his fucking girlfriend's house and there's a doll sitting on his fucking porch. He would laugh. He would no problem fuck. now. <laughs> he wouldn't, you know, he'd be like, what the fuck? But he would laugh about it, and I'd say, "I'd say, wasn't me. I didn't do it. What, what me talking boss? about? Hey, Eileen, this one's in uh, South Mexican, so we're going to need a uh, translation on this. <laughs> an interpreter. Yeah, we need a, an an inter interpreter. But I'm thinking I can probably guess what it is. Yo quiero Taco Bell. <laughs> I think I need a bigger box. Um, you're a lizard, lizard, lizard. I think I got it right. What's it say, Eileen? Is it, it funny? Says Uncle Bonehead's a fucking idiot. <laughs> That's not me, because I don't think I've ever had that dark of hair. <laughs> Boy, it must be a lot of typing on this one. Everybody fucking goes batshit crazy about Cara Levine or Delavine, I mean, whatever her name is. Sure, she's a decent looking gal, but she's not nothing to throw fucking punches over her, I mean. Who is she? She's an actress. <laughs> she was in the movie uh, Carnival or the show Carnival Row. She's been in several movies and shows. Um, I can't think of all of that shit right now. Oh, it's actually a guy. On the right. Yeah, I thought the that was the girl on the left is a girl. Yeah, I see that. I wasn't sure about the one on the right. There is. <laughs> I like that one. 
Yeah. I like the Duracell. <clears throat> I still call lean that. When I do get a chance to talk to him, which isn't very often. Good old Copperhead. Yep. I still call him Duracell. He's got his dad's trucks now, or dad's truck now. Terry uh, retired and Lane got his truck and Lane's using it now because he sold his years ago because he got a drunk driving. Yeah. He got out of the biz for a minute and then he went back to work for a farmer when he got his license back. And now he's back owner-operating. I think he's still working for the farmer. He's just owner-operating through the farm. <clears throat> His uh, ex-wife got out of jail. She, I'm, I'm assuming she was found not guilty. Really? Because I thought... she's, she's free. Cool. Yeah. In the sounds of it, she was, from what they reported, in the article I read, sounded like she was just defending herself. Yeah, that was what she said, but it had to be proven after that. Right. She sat in jail a while until it was proven. Yeah. So. Yep. But it was earlier this year she was released, or maybe it was around Christmas. I don't know. I don't remember when, but it was, we'll say from Christmas to now. <laughs> so. I used to tell Lane all the time, hey, pinch a nip for me. And he'd walk, he'd be on the phone and pinch Nicole's nip. And she'd go, tell John I said hi. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I saw her online one night and I jumped on Messenger. I thought, you know, all I'm going to say is pinch a nip for me. And she laughed. <laughs> well, she's good people. And I got to see her boobies on my birthday. <laughs> hey, <I'm a> boy. <laughs> yeah, we were sitting at the pilot in Ottawa Lake in the back row getting ready to go to bed. And we had just got done eating at the McNasty's in there. <clears throat> and she got in the bunk to get her jammies on. And he was on my driver's side. I had my window down. It was cold as fuck that night, too. And, uh,. <laughs> She's like, I'll be right back. She gets in the bunk, puts her jammies on, and she comes back out of the bunk. She goes, hey, John, I look over again. She whips her fucking titties out at me. I'm like, Jesus Christ, good thing that window's open because you'd have etched that fucking glass. <laughs> <laughs> her and Lane were just fucking laughing. <laughs> she goes, happy birthday. I was like, oh, thanks. Yeah, she good people. And honey holes, good people do. Yeah. I don't reckon that. I don't think I ever met her. Yeah, she was at my wedding with Lane. The redhead with the gorgeous ass that was with Lane. That, oh. That's honey hole. Honey hole okay. Heather. Okay. Yeah. She likes to watch or be watched. It, it turned her on. She enjoys uh, turning her camera on when she's alone and, you know, filming me some stuff. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Not that I've ever asked for it. She just, hey, here you go. So I'm like, all right. <laughs> Hells yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. see, I do it real easy. If I know, you know, cross streets or anything on the corner where they need to turn, I'll, you know, say it. But if I'm right in directions, 
I write very clear and concise directions. Mm -hmm. But there's people out there that couldn't find their way out of a wet fucking paper bag. So I wonder the same thing frequently. Uh huh. Yeah, wonder if they ever found it, you know? Especially when I give them the absolute best turn by turn directions. <laughs> it's like uh, a blind person could look at my fucking directions and find this place. So if you don't, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> when I, you know, was trucking, not not working for you guys or Boner, but uh, other companies, people would fucking dispatch would tell them to call me to get directions. And if <laughs> within five minutes I could tell if this person was gonna like get lost or be good at it, you know. And usually it was, like, I would have to dispatch, basically. Uh, like, I'd be out hauling sugar when I was doing that shit for my friend Stephanie. <clears throat> when I worked for Todd, you know, once, once I started doing the sugar out in the thumb, I found out rather quickly that my friend Stephanie from Belding, we were hauling it for her. I was like, oh, shit. So... I would get my, you know, dispatcher call me like, hey, when you get when you get empty, call Stephanie. It's like, all right, cool. So I'd call her, and I'd get my dispatch, and then all of a sudden I have drivers start calling me. Well, who told me I was supposed to call you to get my dispatch? <laughs> this is <laughs> not where you at. We'll meet up. We'll run in there together. Come on. Wow. We're like I'm doing this, and you're doing this. Yeah, but everything that we did like that through Stephanie, we had to do uh, blind shipments. So I always had to make sure I had plenty of fucking bi empty bills so I could fucking hand the driver the fucking the bills. I'd pre-fill out what I could, and then I'd hand it to him to fill out the rest of the way. So. Yeah. And then, of course, I'd have to answer questions like dispatch. Or actually, Todd would be like, do you fucking Stephanie? It's like, no. She's a good friend, though. She my peeps. I don't know if I sh shared this one or not. <laughs> Thinking I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that one. yeah. I fucking love it. <laughs> Surprise. That's as classic. That's as classic as this. Just just be patient. <laughs> I love that. That is so that's my yep. favorite meme of all. And time. that's how I feel about that one you posted. <laughs> that was fucking as classic as that. Yeah. It is. Or this. <laughs> oh, you got a big pee pee. That's right. Mm -hmm. You wanna you wanna touch it? <laughs> <laughs> you can still get fingerprints on the screen. <laughs> That's fucking funny. That might hit a little too close to home for somebody, though. Mr. Incognito. What the hell's he watching? Whatever it is, he turned it up really loud. Yep. He said the TV's so fucking loud recently, man, my ears are just constantly ringing. Wow. Yeah. Fuck, the other day, I... I could hear, I have, I sleep in here with my TV on, but I can hear it. I can lay in bed and listen to the show I'm watching. 
or not watching, but I'm trying to fall asleep to it. And it's always on the Weather Channel. Unless I'm sick, my TV's always on the Weather Channel. That's just being a truck driver. Waking up in the morning, know what I'm going to be doing. Anyways, um, (laughs) he had the TV so fucking loud I could hear it over mine. And it woke me up. I tried and tried to go back to sleep, but I couldn't because it's just too fucking loud. Yeah, I was pretty pissed about that. It's like, uh, you don't need it that loud. Well, I can't fucking hear it. Well, you might want to make an appointment so you can get your hearing aid cleaned so you can get them put back in your ears. And guess what? You'll hear. Imagine that. One of them still works, but because the other one doesn't, he won't wear just one. It's like, um, that's silly. I would rather hear 50% than hear near, you know, zero personally, but. Weirdest place you have masturbated? <laughs> What? I'm gonna have to zoom in. And Read the response. <laughs> when I was 19, I was suicidal. I went to go lay down on the train tracks and get run over. Got bored waiting for a train, so in, so in decided to rub one out while laying on the tracks. Post net clarity helped me get off the tracks and get the help I needed. Weirdest place for me was near some railway line watching some dude laying in the tracks beating off it was like a race of who was going to come first me or the train (laughs) me him or the train (laughs) or him me or the train Uh, (laughs) yep that's an interesting question what's where is the weirdest place i've ever jerked off Fuck, I don't even know. <laughs> Driving down the road. <laughs> Probably. No, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> Gecko. <laughs> the train won the fifth time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was awkward because it. We we come into the city and all the all the street lights are coming through the cab. Yeah, I'm kidding. I didn't really do that. I did. Uh-huh. I did. It one, Fucking liar! <laughs> just driving outside outside of town in the dark. A graveyard yeah. for me would have to be weirdest. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little creepy. <laughs> I love the dead. Did you pop by down, for a cold down. one? <laughs> I... You know that song there, Keith? I love the dead. No, I don't. Oh, I Sang will it? post a link to it. Okay. Uh, Alice Cooper. Oh, Alice Cooper. Yeah, okay. Yep. That was back in the 70s. This is <laughs> Back before I was born. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh-huh. I was born back when the Dead Sea was sick. <laughs> it wasn't just dead yet. Uh, it was sick. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Well, there was that one time. Van camp? No. <laughs> uh, that was funny, think, Keith. I'm trying to think of some. That's... The weirdest one, though. The you got to play this, Bonehead. I ain't set up to play music. God damn. That's a good jam. Uh, uh. 
Mm. Yeah, I own it. You what? Very, very good theatrical piece. I learned about it from a, a concert video. Oh. <clears throat> Alice did. And it was during the part where he was putting the guillotine and his head was cut off. Alice had some wild right. shows. Yeah, he did. I I wish I'd have seen one. I mean, hell, he, he still goes out and tours. I don't know who's <laughs> playing guitar for him now. <laughs> what was the name of that? Look at how. Uh, look at bodybuilder dude that was Good. playing for him back in the 80s. Yeah, I have no clue. I don't remember some bodybuilder dude. He he looked kind of like Rambo had the had the the machine gun guitar. Fuck, I don't know. Well, what good are you? I know about Orianti. I don't like her, but she's too egotistical. <clears throat> she's good, but she's egotistical as fuck. And then, uh, oh, Jesus Christ. I think Jen Majura was with him at one point or is currently with him. She's awesome. She was recently in uh, Evanescence, but she got fired for some reason. But she's cool. Hell of a guitar player. Um and then there was, I believe she's, or she it was at one point, but Nita Strauss, she's fucking amazing. Yeah. And she's beautiful. Dude, Angel put out a video. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say, Angel put out a video with a... Uh, uh, fuck drag queen in it and I'm not sure if it was him in a drag queen outfit or if it was somebody else it could have been him <laughs> I think it I think it was him because the the cover photo is half and half and it's him and it's like I had to go watch the video again I was like was that him and then watching the video I'm like I don't know but Angel's a fucking amazing guitar player, dude. Yes, I is. mean, fucking, I will bow down to him as a guitar player any day of the week. He was kind of cool to hang out with, with, too. But... Yeah. For candy. <laughs> yeah. And then some fucking, I've had a few people be like, but dude, he's gay. It's like, so? I don't care. Was he trying to fuck me or feel my dick? No. So I no. don't care. Yeah. So. It's. It's, it's no big deal if he is, you know. If he is, he is. Whoop de doo. Right. Oh my God, his gayness isn't going to transfer to you. You can you can give the guy a hug, shake his hand, hang out until talk to him. His gayness will not rub off. <laughs> <laughs> just like fucking black people some don't people rub are off. Funny. Right. Some people are just fucking stupid. Yep, yep. I think Angel. Looking back, I've watched some of his videos again from back in the, those days. Uh -huh. And it's like, I like the live version better than the Oh, he puts version. on a hell of a show. All by himself with backing tracks, yes. Yes. <laughs> it's fucking amazing. The dude and the shit Cole's doing now? Yeah. Oh. It's fucking wild. Yeah, Cole is fucking gotten he was leaps and bounds better back then and he's leaps and bounds better now that no, was he, 2018 he, dude yeah he fucking cole opened for him and we're all just like wow and then angel come out like, who the fuck is this guy <laughs> then it's like holy shit yep i thought for sure it was going to be like it's a phenomenal. geek show but he was he was good yeah 
And then Angel came out and it's just like, oh my God. We're not and worthy. Angel was using Cole's fucking amp. Using uh -huh. his profiler. Because his shit got KO'd in transit. Yep. Yeah, I pay attention to what Cole's doing. And Angel, of course. Angel's one of my heroes. He is a badass. He's a badass guitar player. Let's see. I'll find a good video from him. Post up here. You, know you want to know something funny? What's that? Marge is over here giving okay. Minnie a bath. Oh, yeah. And he's just laying on the floor, just snoozing away. And Marge is just, just cleaning away. Hell yeah. Okay, let's see. I attempted to get a picture. We'll see how good it turned out. If I can find the right... <laughs> Did you get a bad <laughs> She's Hold looking still. at me. She's looking at me like, Dad. <laughs> you didn't take that picture, did you? <laughs> Don't put that on the <laughs> internet. Trying to find this song, the official video. There we go, a Martian winner. I love that song. Yeah, I still have video footage on my phone from that night. Cool. And obviously the pictures. But. And it was the part where he uh, obviously was at the front of the stage, and he was drinking this water bottle while he was playing a solo. Yeah. He was drinking, had his, had his head tipped back, draining a fucking bottle of water while his left hand's just fucking going to town. God, that was fucking awesome. He's definitely a badass on the fretboard. <laughs> yeah. What was it? 20. I, I tagged Mike Martin. <laughs> hey, Mike. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Are you Are jealous? You, jealous? <laughs> <laughs> you got to meet us before you did. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> and he actually liked it. <laughs> yep. And then, uh, 2015, I went to see, uh, oh shit, it was at the loft too. Um, Jesus, I got angels stuck in my head now. Um, Michelangelo Badio, oh, he was fucking phenomenal too. That was my first experience with backing tracks. And he looks different out of his wig. I didn't realize it was him until afterwards. I was like, God damn it. I should have fucking approached him while he's getting a beer. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I knew it was him, but I wasn't sure. You know what I mean? One yeah. of those feelings. I wish I would have fucking sat there and just shot the shit with a guy and treated him like he was just somebody fucking average dude. I bet you he would have enjoyed that immensely. A lot of those fancy rock star types are like that. They just want to be treated like an everyday guy. Yep. Yeah. Oh, the old man's getting tired. He's yawning. Uh, I've been up since two. Uh, this afternoon? Yeah. <laughs> 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 you gotta pace myself, you know. <laughs> That's oh, right. <laughs> 
Oh, fuck. Here's my ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Mommy, do we have any cookies? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Get off my lawn. That's you right. can't stay off my Facebook. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I should be scared of that or not. Oh, legs. What the full screen is? He's oh. jamming on the guitar. Yeah. Hell yeah. Wow, that was loud. Too loud. <laughs> Hell yeah, she's badass. That makes me miss my old fucking Ibanez, dude. My old road to dare. God, I should have never fucking threw that away. I should have just filled the crack with fucking epoxy and then re-impregnated the fucking wood to get the humidity up right. Then I could have put the neck back on it after I refinished it. But it had a crack in the neck pocket and I threw it away. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Yeah. Yeah. Just like transgender women can have periods. Wink, wink. Uh-huh. And transgendered women can have, you know, children. I saw a fucking a clip of some chick freaking the fuck out, crying, all sad and shit. It's obviously a dude, but I'm still trying to figure out if it's uh, real or fake. It, it it appeared very real, but she was all upset because her man-made vagina doesn't work like a regular one. <laughs> so, <laughs> Can't understand why. Exactly. Um and that's the part where I wonder, is this person clueless or is this person just fucking gagging everybody? Because, you know. Because I don't think anybody could go into the surgery that fucking stupid. So. <laughs> Am I going to get my first period? <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> my ovaries are cramping. Now that I have a, I have a man-made vagina, no uterus, no ovaries, but. I'm a woman now. I can have periods. I can have babies. <laughs> yeah. And then there was a dude. I, I think it was uh, one of uh, Odin's men's videos. JT's. Um, trying to remember how the fuck the video went. This dude, sorry, this chick, it's a transgendered female lesbian. It's like, so in other words, you're a dude, you stick your dick in chicks. You're a dude, fucking chicks. But you wear makeup and have a wig. Okay, all right, buddy, you're transgender. <laughs> transgendered lesbian, yes what it really said it's like yeah okay no well, i do need to come out of the closet i'm a lesbian trapped in a man's body mm -hmm. me too could he split yep that's right i'm looking forward to getting fucking high tonight are you yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'll be eating my gummy here 
or my gummies here shortly. Mm -hmm. As soon as I finish what I'm doing, and then I gotta do my shot, take my pills. I gotta make or get my pills around for next week. <laughs> Organized up and in my container, and then I'll be able to go outside. Look at you. Uh oh. Wow. Goodness. Hello. Those are those are fake titties though. I prefer real ones. If they're going to be fake, you might as well put a squeaky toy in them, motherfuckers. That's right. Mm -hmm. Right Boy, underneath the nipple. Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. Would you stop? <laughs> <laughs> I fucking... I, I bet that's a real... A real fucking headline. Is most likely, I yeah. can see that happening. <laughs> Fucking pedophiles. Wanting to be called minor attracted persons because there's no stigma like there is with pedophile. But motherfucker, you want us to try to normalize you raping little kids? Uh, no. No. Did this really happen? Nope. Yeah. Florida passes. Oh, bill. this one. I hope so. Yeah, me too. More states need to. Oh, yeah. I, I think it is real. I do believe it is real. I am all for that one. Yep. One hundred percent. If if not the death penalty, at least chemical castration. Mm-hmm. I'd really prefer actual castration, but, you know. I mean, I'd just whack the pee-pee off, too, and they just leave a little bit of a nub they can hold on to when they're taking a piss. Other than that, no nuts, no dick. Just a little nub. See, now, when I see that dot BMP, I think beg me pardon. <laughs> Beg my pardon. That link didn't work. Yeah. Didn't work. I like the view. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Fucking uh, Joyce Behar. Shut up, bitch. Yep. Or Joy, not Joyce. Why did I say Joyce? Same thing. She's a dumb bitch. Yeah. We don't need her or Whoopi on the fucking planet anymore. They can walk off anytime they'd like. Go to yep. their flat earth de designated spot and fucking fall right off the edge. I used to love Whoopi as an actress, but Whoopi as an activist? No. She's fucking stupid. She needs to shut her mouth, especially when she's bitching about oppression and shit. I'm like, bitch, you're worth millions. How are you oppressed? Show me on the doll where you were repressed. Yep. Fucking idiot. Just like the million dollar sports fucking figures. Oh, oppression, oppression. Motherfucker, you make millions of dollars a year and you're oppressed? Yeah, I'm skinny too. This shit pisses me off. And same thing with the entertainment industry. You're paid to fucking act in a movie. Act in a movie. Or shut your fucking mouth. I don't need to hear your politics because I don't care. Exactly. Paid to pretend you're, you're somebody paid, else. Yep, you're paid to entertain me. And if you can't entertain me, I got nothing for you. Yeah. I love it when actors fucking stand out, you know, and they're like, you know who the good ones are because they stand up and like, oh, hey, hey, whoa, I'm not one of them. Yep. I finally got my dad to watch The Ranch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I 
talking to my sister. I mean, he watched the whole fucking show, dude. He's talking to my sister last Sunday. I was telling her about it. She's like, holy shit. I was like, yeah, apparently he don't realize that that's very right leaning. <laughs> all the, all the Biden jokes and shit in there. Yeah, that's fucking, that should tell you something. <clears throat> yeah. But he enjoyed it. I asked him if he thought it was good. And he's like, hell yeah, that's good. I love Sam Elliott. He's our generation's fucking John Wayne. Yep. I mean, granted, we did have a little bit of John Wayne when we was kids, but not much. Most of it was reruns, but... He is our generation's John Wayne. Everything he does, he's good at. Holy shit. I've been a fan of his since fucking Mask with Cher. Mask was actually a pretty good movie. Yes, it was. Way better than fucking Jim, uh, what's his nuts? Yeah, Jim Carrey's Mask. Totally different. There you go. Thing, but. I, I kept wanting to say carol yeah but that's right jim carrey yeah he's a funny motherfucker but i didn't like that movie the mask he did yeah it was kind of dumb now uh, yeah, i'm gonna pull an easter egg out of the air for you i saw this recently and it's like well yeah i have seen that before so i used to watch spongebob spongebob with the kids and in cer a certain part i can't remember where the mask from The Mask, Jim Carrey's mask, is floating in Bikini Bottom. <laughs> really? The actual, yeah, the actual mask, The obviously this, you know, the cartoon version of it is in yeah. Bikini Bottom. Wow. I was I like, well, no fucking shit. I was like, I've never even, it never even, I've seen it. I just, it never dawned on me that it's the same thing as The Mask from The Mask. Wow. <clears throat> Yep. Yeah, I love Easter eggs. X bitch. <laughs> I love I love that fucking dress and the irony that that you know, yeah, like the fucking rich bitch can't fucking see the irony in that. I love it. She's that fucking stupid. Yep. She dumber than a mud fence. Fuck a mud fence has more brains than she does. I, I more logic than she does. Makes more sense than she does. Yep. Goes to a fucking ten thousand dollar plate dinner with a dress on. It says tax the rich. Um, bitch, do you realize where you're at at ten thousand dollars a plate? <laughs> fucking stupid. Yeah. Ain't no poor people at the Met Gala, here, princess. She is completely fucking clueless. Yep. One hundred percent. Wow. All them fucker uh all them fuckers are dumber than mud fence. Uh, I mean I ain't never said Trump was fucking the most majestic one of them all. But I goddamn tell you, he ran a good country. He ran it like a fucking business. Yes, he did. And he did a great job. Not fucking it like all these, you know, political fucks. Because, yep. you know, he wasn't a politician. He's an actor. <laughs> or not act. Well, he's a business owner slash uh, reality show host. <clears throat> And I love how hard they're going after him right now. Oh, yeah. I just love it. Because they ain't never going to get nowhere. It's the same thing as Russia, Russia, Russia. 
Yep. All Russians, all Russians. All... Nope, there was nothing. Tried to impeach him on it, too. Nope, there was nothing. <clears throat> my dad got my dad and I got in a big argument over that. And he's like, they impeached him. I was like, they tried to pe- impeach him. It didn't go through. Oh, it doesn't no, matter. Well, they, yes, it does. They did impeach him. They couldn't remove him from office. They didn't have the votes. <clears throat> they impeached him more than once. Yeah, I know they did it twice, but it didn't work. Nope. Just impeachment. You can impeach a president for jaywalking if you want. Doesn't mean they're going to get removed from office. Holy shit. Yeah, they're trying everything to keep him from running. Yep. Because they know the whole world is watching the election this time. Mm-hmm. So, and they know they're yep. going to get slacked if it's yep. a fair election. Case in point, I mean, look how many millions of dollars you raised during this indictment. Mm-hmm. Just yeah. in the first fucking week of the indictment, he raised he raised like four, five, six million dollars. I don't remember the figure, but somewhere up in up in the four million at least. <clears throat> so it's like, yeah, yeah, yep. I sure hope World War Three kicks off and nuclear winter kicks in before the election, because if not, <laughs> we're gonna get we're gonna get Putin under control next term. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to shut Putin down. If Trump was still the president, Putin wouldn't have would not have invaded. Nope. Oh. Not at all. I mean, I feel for the Ukrainian people, but fuck, man. At what point, you know, we're sending so many fucking billions of dollars over there that who has to pay that back? We do. Every time yeah, we have a week, I didn't get a vote on it. Yeah. I didn't get a chance to vote on any of this money being sent over, any of these aid packages. Nope. So I, I don't think I should have to pay for that. I think, you know, Joe Biden should pay for that and Kamala Harris and Nancy Pelosi especially. That should, should come out of little that Miss text. fucking... Just a little backdoor trading fucking Nancy Pelosi who thinks there's nothing wrong with that insider trading and shit. Yep. And she's fucking caught red handed. Just ain't nobody got the balls to arrest her over it. Yep. God damn, we're seven minutes from the end. Yeah. I'm getting sucked into this <laughs> Twitter account called Vicious Videos. A lot of videos. I love Twitter. And I love people fucking freaking out on Twitter. That's even that's the best. Mm-hmm. I mean, I find that shit so amusing. I should kind of, I kind of get aroused by it, so I could actually masturbate while listening to people freak out. Because I think it's it's kind of hot. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that chick's butt. Yep. Seen that one time when I was standing in the line at an ATM. Did Hell he have yeah. a big beard? It was Wendy, and she was wearing a skirt. It just, oh. whoop, there it went. Yep. I love skirts and dresses. Unless they're too tight. If they're too tight, no, because they're not going to blow up like that. I want to see the fucking the shitter in the critter. It's like Putin's got a nice ass there. <laughs> yeah, 
That's a mighty fine turd cutter you got there, sweetheart. Mm hmm Look at the shitter on that critter. God damn. Oh, 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 I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need time. to fucking shave, man. I shaved my face once <laughs> recently, and I haven't shaved it since. So my shit, my beard's all grown back in now. I can't remember what this. But I dude. feel hundred percent better since I shaved my head. This dude's YouTube channel is freaking hilarious. If you ever get to watch him, it's funny as fuck, dude. Just watch that video. He's he's always uh, doing something stupid with electricity. <laughs> yeah. Stick my finger in here. <laughs> and thank you guys for coming out. Anytime. Oh, both of you. Ugh. Hells yeah. Hells yeah. Oh, here's I'll leave one video by the road here. This one's funny. John, you'll appreciate this one. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> no, I ain't gonna watch it right now because I'm in the middle of something. Doing my pill container for next week. You'll appreciate that for sure. <laughs> Is it a seat post prank? No, it's not a prank. It's a catching people. Uh, oh, the bike thieves? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By making the, the, the bike seat disappear. <laughs> When they sit down. <laughs> yeah. Gets it right up the old poop chute. Ah, uh, that's a prank, dude. They couldn't be doing that on the side of the fucking... Or anywhere. And in, in inflicting that kind of damage and pain on someone. So that's actually a joke. That is a prank. It's, John, uh, it's just like John, the old stab somebody John. with the fake knife in the... Hey, what? What? being a Karen, what? it's a fucking joke. I'm not. Just appreciate the laughter. Oh, I do appreciate the laughter, but when you tell me that it's what happens, and I got, well, no, it's not what happens. Wow. You could, you could fuck up a wet dream. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I could. I definitely could. <laughs> that motherfucker don't make sense to me in logic, then yeah, I'll fuck it all up. <laughs> Wife informs husband the minivan has suffered a rapid unscheduled disassembly. <laughs> I guess that's uh, the new term for wreck. Hell yeah. Oh shit, we're almost done. Yep, yep. Count it down. Thank you, Easter Bunny. Yeah. Bonk, bonk. Thank you guys for coming again and again and again and again. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. We shall return you guys to your regularly scheduled Saturday evenings. And now for something completely different. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Batman's best friend is 
his hand. <laughs> and this is the end. <laughs> Catch you guys again next time. Be good, be safe. Never take your finger where you would take your face. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm out. Yeah. yeah. See you guys later. We'll see ya. Bye bye. Bye bye. We love you long time. Night job, boy. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night, Good night, s- or good night swelling. <laughs> night, Elizabeth. <laughs> night, Paul. Night, night swelling. Night, Paul. <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> Sorry, man. You shut the fuck up. Give me some dick. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some dick. I need some dick. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's gone but me and you. Yeah. <laughs> We're saying give me some dick. That's <laughs> strong. <laughs> we'll have to tell everybody next week. Boy, you missed out. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Y'all ducked out of here and we jumped right in there. Give me some dick. I need some dick. <laughs> <No. laughs> yeah. All right, man. All right, yeah, we'll talk to you later. See ya. All right, man. See ya. Thank you.